How's it going guys? My name is TJP. Welcome back to another MLB The Show 24 franchise video here today. We are ourselves the San Francisco Giants, our next NL team. Uh, before we get into the gameplay, leave a like, subscribe, and join the content. Comment down below some more video ideas for our socials. Play the second channel, main channel, down below in the description. If you like other content from me, TJP. These are meant to be the uh, rosters with injuries. So hopefully everything is up to date on San Diego Studios ends. Not meant to be realistic. If we miss some names, we miss some names. Five seasons... And I think I've said everything I needed to say. All the rules are down in the description in case I missed one. We're doing this based on all 30 teams, standings, playoff finishes, and yeah, should be fun. So with that being said, Giants are next. Let's get on to the gameplay. Great. Let's take a look here at the team. Now, lineups. Uh, we've got Estrada, Slater, Flores is here. We've got Soler, Mike Kachemski, Lamont Wade Jr., Blake Sable, Matt Chapman's here. They did pick up Matt Chapman, uh, which is nice. And then they got Marco Luciano, young guy. Four off the bench with Bailey, Murphy, Wisely, Mazza. This is spring training. We'll advance to the regular season. Uh, we got a uh, pitch rotation. Blake Snell is here, so that's good. Logan Webb, Jordan Hicks. Uh, we got Sean, Ethan Small, Kyle Harrison's up here with Wynn. We got Luke Jackson, Tyler Rogers, Taylor Rogers, uh, Camilo Duvall. He's pretty good. So let's just advance to the regular season. And um, I think I think we have everybody that needs that, that needs to be here, right? I'm just going to double check to make sure that I didn't miss a player, um, or there's something that they didn't update. Um, let's see here. I'm just looking. I think they got. I think we got everybody. Yeah. It, for some reason, they, Jordan Montgomery is just still a free agent. Um, hopefully, at some point, that's fixed on their end with the roster with injuries no idea if that will be fixed if not i'll just have to like i said sometimes i'll do the live roster and they just have the players that are injured in triple a but with that all being said uh, you know i don't know if i want luciano to be my starting shortstop but we'll we'll give him a chance uh, but if anything, we're going to try to trade for one. Uh, lineups, though, for left field. Uh, Austin Slater's decent. I've had I've seen him do decent in, uh, you know, the game. I'm going to see if maybe we get another bat, though. Uh, Pitching-wise, I feel like we're kind of decent. Uh, but we'll try to get some more uh, pitchers later on. I mean, Snell and Webb should be pretty good, although Blake Snell likes to struggle in the sim engine. But let's see. Let's see if we can another bat for this team. Let's see if there's any uh, any players out there we can get. I'm um, gonna just see what the Diamondbacks. Just a small deal here. We're gonna get Lourdes Guerrero Jr. for Michael Conforto and Randy Rodriguez. Uh, Conforto's expiring. I don't see myself re-signing him. So we'll get Guerrero Jr. I feel like he could do a decent job as somebody else in the lineup. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just see him to All-Star break. I don't know if this team's gonna make the postseason, but I feel like we're gonna be Im uh, improved from their actual real life record from last year. Maybe like an 80. 84 win team uh, and Maybe we'll make a move at the deadline too. We'll see around the all-star break to push us if we're you know in the hunt All right, so we, we're 42 and 55. You can forget what I said about an 84 win team This team might not win 80 games probably gonna win like 70 uh, We do have some injuries David VR is hurt uh, VR or Valar Either way, maybe Valar Regardless, he's hurt. So David's hurt. Tristan Beck out. It's pitched anyway, really, for us. Uh, let's see how the team's doing lineup wise. Shot has been okay this season, not too bad. Chapman cold. Don't like that. That is not what we like. Wilmer Flores having a nice year. Soler, okay. Gorilla Jr., okay. Uh, Shremsky's been really good. Lamont Wade Jr., solid. Luciano's been alright. Um, could be better, could be worse. Patrick Bailey has not been very good this year. He's in 203. Not gonna cut it at the dish. I'm sure he's doing a decent job behind the dish, like fielding wise. Uh, Blake Sable hasn't played much at all this year. Tom Murphy's been uh, all right as a backup. Slater, Fitzgerald. Rotation. Logan Webb's been awesome. So I'm saying Blake Snell is terrible in the sim engine. So, you know, we have him on a two year deal. I might look to move him in the. Uh, in the offseason just because he's making a lot of money and if he's gonna pitch like that it's not gonna really work for us Hicks has been awful Robbie Ray has been uh, awful as well so just a lot of guys have been awful Alex Cobb awful <laughs> it's 
Just nobody, nobody good. So there's gonna be a lot of movement here. Is he a free agent? He had 10 million free agent. I might look to move Alex Cobb now, actually, because I don't see myself re-signing him. But Robbie Ray and Blake Snell probably move in the offseason. I just, I don't know, man. Kyle Rogers, okay. Any Anybody in the bullpen doing well? The ball's been good. 21 saves, been all right. Luke Jackson, good as a uh, setup man. I'm gonna throw out. Uh, I'm gonna throw out Alex Cobb. See if I can get something for him. Uh, yeah, Logan Webb is practically my only starting pitcher that I want to keep. <laughs> Everybody else is like, I can afford moving them for somebody better. All right, I'm gonna grab Shelby Miller and Reese Olsen from the Tigers for Alex Cobb, Tyler Fitzgerald, and Elliot Ramos. Uh, just to move that'll get us a better starting pitcher and uh, some uh, bullpen help But I mean it's not gonna make a huge difference for us in terms of how well we're gonna be doing this season We're still gonna end up not making the playoffs It's just I mean unless we have the greatest second half of the season in the history of the MB, uh, of the MLB I keep saying NBA why uh, unless we have the greatest season uh, second half of the season post all-star break in the MLB It's just not gonna happen. So uh, so you probably see you guys at the end of the season where, like I said, I don't think we're going to the postseason. All right, win 75 and 87. Uh, not good enough to make the postseason. Unfortunately, uh, but we got some league leaders here. Logan Webb, 21 wins and innings pitched. So that's good to see from him. Uh, injury list. Olsen was hurt. Uh, Slayer got fresh at wrist. He had a pretty solid year, though, uh, which is nice. He was all right. Lineups, Estrada. Pretty solid. Slater was not too great, but he was on fire. Wait, Wilmer Flyers had a great year. Uh, Guriel Jr. would like more out of him. Jemski had a good year. Ah, uh, Yeah, not much. Matt Chapman, not much from him either at the dish. Uh, Tom Murphy was solid off the bench. That was the pitching rotation here. Uh, Logan Webb obviously had a great year. Blake Snell, not great. Jordan Hicks, not good. Reese Olsen was solid. Robbie Way, eh. Murphy, Sean. Sean actually had a good record, 12 and 4, but. Miller was solid. Rogers was good. So that's good to see. Taylor Rogers was good. Jackson, good. And Camila DeWall was pretty good. 35 saves. I'll take it. So, yeah, obviously not going to have to make the postseason this year, but there's some promise. There's some promise. I'm sure we'll get better in the offseason. Yankees beat the Dodgers in the World Series. It's not the offseason. All right, uh, the Marlins would be willing to do this deal. I'm going to just flip Blake Snell, Jordan Hicks, and Robbie Ray onto them. We get ourselves Yuri Perez. I'm doing that deal 100%. Uh, huge salary. Then we get a big, uh, big picture there. Now, obviously, not meant to be realistic. Of course, the Marlins wouldn't do this, but listen, if the Marlins do it in the game, that's the game, you know? So, I'll take it. That works for me. I obviously have to get more pitchers, but uh, we'll have a lot of money to play with down with the free agency now, so that's beautiful. All right, so, <clears throat> free agency's here. Now, I'm looking at what we could get. I do... I kind of want to see if we can maybe try to get another pitcher. So, Jordan Montgomery isn't too bad, but I'm not going to go with him. I'm going to try to see if we can get some other guys. I might go with Kyle Hendricks. He's coming off a nice season. Throw him a deal if he wants to join our team. That would be fantastic. Um, again, I'm not going to break the bank with the uh, with the starters. Uh, I'm trying to think who else we would want. Uh, not really Jack Flaherty, Kyle Gibson, Kikuchi, Pavetta. I think Pavetta might be okay. Jose Quintana. I'm gonna go with Pavetta. Uh, he does not want to join my team. Okay, now we'll go with uh, we'll do Quintana a deal. I'll throw him. A, I'll throw him a deal if he wants to join. Uh our team he could sign that contract if he wants to uh, other than that i mean we could try to i'm gonna see if we can make another trade i i really have this one guy on my mind i mentioned it before i want to see if i can get him i probably can't i really want Corey seager on this team so badly uh but i just don't think it's gonna be possible i mean i'd have to get luciano and even then i don't think that they're not gonna they're not gonna want that uh 
can't throw in your Tremsky. Yeah, no, they wouldn't want any of these guys. Some relief pitchers. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Yeah, it, yeah, I'm not giving up Logan. I'm not giving Logan. I'm not giving Perez. And then yeah, there's just nothing that's realistically possible here that could get me him. So it's just so hard to trade for him now. It used to be. It kind of used to be somewhat easy to get Corey Seager, but not so hard. He's just so good, but. All right, yeah, let's see if we just try to get some uh, some more pitching. Um, and then maybe add a little bit more depth to our team. So maybe a couple platoon guys. All right, so I just want to show you guys some of the stuff we did. So obviously, I got Clay Holmes, Danny Jansen. I wanted to get another catcher. So we got Danny Jansen on the team. I picked up Gordon Montgomery as well as Kyle Hendricks. And then I just re-signed uh, some of our guys. So pretty happy with the what we did uh in free agency i don't want to go too crazy with it so at least this season i'll you know maybe wait another season or so to do more moves but i like the squad as is i'll see you guys start the second season all right so the start of the second season uh also i did get brian anderson who was a, pl a platoon guy uh, so didn't mention that uh, let's take a look at the lineup see what we got so we got estrada uh we got Otto lopez um instead of Luciano, they got him in AAA right now. Um, I'm sure he'll get called up, though. Um, I would hope he gets called back up. Don't know why we would have Otto Lopez, but... You know. All right, that's fine. Flores, Soler, Danny Jansen's down in the lineup. We've got Tremsky, Griel Jr., Lamont Wade Jr., Matt Chapman. I definitely want to improve the offense. That's something we're going to do. I think we need to get our lineup better in shape. Anderson, Murphy, Matos, Joey Bart's up. That's cool to see. Then, um, of course, our pitching. I do kind of like our rotation now. I like the one-two punch of Perez and Webb with Montgomery Hendricks. Then we got uh, Spencer Howard. Um, I don't know why Reese Olsen is not in the pros, but that is in the show at its finest. Ethan Small, you know, Miller Jackson, Rogers, Tristan Beck with Clay Holmes, Taylor Rogers, and Camilo Doval pretty good it's pretty good now can i call up my man yes and can i send down my man okay 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 i can't send any of these guys down I will right, we'll send down Tristan back. That's fine. Perfect. Sorry, Tristan. All right, cool. Because I'd rather have my man Olsen in the starting five. Let's be real. All right, so I'm happy with the team. Let's uh, see how this team does. I think we'll be better than last season, but I still think our lineup's not great. Uh, but I do have a couple of options at free agency. We'll see if there's maybe a trade we want to do also. Uh, I mean, we could trade all of our guys for Adley Rutschman if we really wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah, let's simulate. I'll see you guys at the uh, All-Star break, and you know, hopefully we're better than we, are, uh, than we were last year. I'll just deal with the Tigers. I'll get Akil Badu for Joe Whitman and Mason Black. I I'm fine with that deal. Also take this. Uh, Tigers want to give me a uh, Andrew Chaffin for Bryce Aldridge. I'll do that also, just to bolster up the bullpen a little bit. So I think I'm gonna make another trade uh, at the once we simulate to the All Star break. I might as well just sim to, through this part um, since we're almost like there. Because uh, there is a couple guys that I do want to move. Um, I'm just not, I'm not gonna look at that trade. Sim through the draft. Yup. Yup. All right, we can stop simulating here. So we're 52 and 45. Not bad. See the injury list. Uh, Murphy's hurt. Uh, well, a decent amount of guys are hurt. Brian Anderson, Torn Achilles tendon. That sucks. Uh, we're also playing a guy. Lineups. Strata's been really good this year. Chapman. Cold is late. Flora's solid. Soler's been uh, pretty bad this year. Danny Jansen's been pretty good. Shremsky, like the way he's been playing. Guerrero Jr. Lamont Wade Jr. Otto Lopez. Okay. Got Casey Schmidt. We got Akil Badu coming off the bench against righties. Uh, but he plays against lefties. Works for me. 
I guess. Uh, Matez, not too bad from him. Joey Barr hasn't done much. Pitch rotation, Webb's been good. Yuri Perez, wish I didn't any a little more out of ya. Jordan Montgomery, awesome. Hendricks, solid. And then Spencer Howard's been terrible. Because I don't really want Spencer Howard yet. They put him instead of Reese Olsen, who didn't pitch. Actually, he was doing all right. He was doing eh. He was doing eh. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I do want to move uh, Luke Jackson because he's expiring and he's been terrible this season. Uh, Tyler Rogers also been pretty bad too, and he's expiring. Uh, Taylor Rogers is also an expiring, so move the Rog. I'm going to just move the uh, these guys for some better relief pitchers because our bullpen has been kind of iffy this year. Shout out to Camilo Duvall, though. He's been having a nice year. Uh, so we'll take that. Plus, maybe try to get another bat. Uh, so yeah, I guess let's let's do that and um, try to improve the team. That's really what it comes down to because the bullpen's been pretty crummy this year. We do, I think, have a wild card spot right now. Is that correct? All right, I'll just deal with the Diamondbacks. We're gonna give up Rod, both Rogers and Luke Jackson for Kevin Ginkle and Kyle Nelson. Uh, so just swap them. Hopefully they'll be better. I mean, they're also expiring, but if they do decent with us, we'll re-sign them. It's uh, it's kind of that simple. Um, I'd like to actually, I kind of see want Kyle Harrison to be up here too. He actually has some decent value. Uh, any shortstops out there that we can get? Um, Ellie De La Cruz? Can we get Ellie De La Cruz? Ooh, we might be able to. We could. There's a world out there we can get Ellie Dilly Cruz, but I think let's uh, Corey Seager. There's no world out there we can get Corey Seager, though. It was having a good year, again, of course. All right, let's just keep simulating. I think we'll, uh, I think we'll make the playoffs. Probably is a wild card team, though. Not good enough. Once again, 83 and 79, so not a good season. Underperformed. Well, actually, not really. Did we really underperform? I know our lineup wasn't great, but I feel like our... Let's see. Shroud had a good year. Chapman ended up doing decent. Flores had a solid end of the season. Slayer hit a lot of home runs, but struck out a lot, too. Well, probably struck out a lot, right? 138 strikeouts. Yes. It seems like even years he doesn't strike out. Odd years he does, ever since 2018. Uh, yeah. 2015. He didn't strike out a lot in 2017, though. Struck out a lot in 2015. But then again, this was also a, uh, he had a short, he had a small year, so who knows, but okay. Danny Jans was solid, Yutremski was solid. Real Junior has not been doing much for me. Thought he'd be doing a bit more. He's not really doing much. And yeah, Luciana should have been here the entire time, but you know, it's fine. He got he got reps and he came in, hit 290. Fortunately, not good enough though for us to help us make the playoffs. We got league leaders, Duvall with saves. He probably got an award. No, he actually didn't. What am I saying? Perez torn finger ligament. Eh, it could have been better. Could have been worse. Let's see the rotation. Webb solid. Montgomery was solid. Reese Olsen. Eh. Kyle Hendricks. Eh. All right. Kevin Ginko, I'd like to keep him around. We got Kyle Nelson was decent. Shelby Miller was good. Clay Holmes was good. Andrew Chafin was good. And Camila DeVall was good. So. Alright. Bullpen was solid. The starters, okay. Could be better, could be worse. I, I want to improve the lineup, I'd say. Um, let's send him to the offseason. I do think I still want to get a better shorts. I'm not saying Luciano is bad, because he's not, but I want him on the roster. Uh, just maybe not as a starting shortstop. Or we get another shortstop as just like a bat. So like Range beat the Braves, by the way. So let's go on to the offseason. I'm thinking maybe Bo. If I can get Bo, that'd be nice. If he's a free agent, we'll probably go after him. I think it's my number one target. All right, so yes, he is there. I am going to throw Bo a contract. Um, I want to trade another pitcher as well. So we're going to throw Bo a deal. What kind of contract would he want? He wanted a three-year deal. Uh, I think that's fine because, yeah, we'll throw him a three-year deal. And then I'm going to throw uh, Dylan Cease a contract as well. 
because I wanted to cease the moment. Um, so we'll throw him a little cheeky deal here to try to get him on our squad. Um, and yeah, that would probably be the two biggest guys I could think of signing. Uh, but I'll see if there's anybody else that I want to go after. Uh, maybe another first baseman. So let's see what's out there in the market. All right, so I was able to pick up Bo to be our shortstop. Now, I did believe I signed some other guys here. Uh, most of the guys I just re-signed. Um, I'm going to make a couple trades, um, I think. I might move Gurriel Jr. Uh, do I move Solaire? I might. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can move those guys. Try to see if I can get myself, uh, you know, some other positions of need, if you catch my drift. Probably a first baseman. All right, I'm going to just deal with the Mariners. We're going to give up Lourdes Griel Jr., Jorge Soler, and Andy Thomas. We're going to get ourselves Pete Alonzo. After Alonzo, welcome Pete Alonzo to the team, Mr. Polo Bear. All right, so to start the third season, I did make some other moves, uh, which you will see. Uh, so, yeah, we got Estrada, Badu, uh, Bo, Pete Alonzo, Danny Jansen, Kyle Schwarber picked him up. Uh, yeah, not great fielding, I will say that. We got Jutremski, Lamont Wade Jr., Matt Chapman. Uh, we might be one of the worst defensive teams in the league, but you know what? I feel like as long as what you hit, you can usurp that. I got Patrick Bailey come off the bench with Matos, Murphy, Bart. Uh, let's see here. Our pitching rotation, Perez, Webb, Montgomery, Hendricks. You got Sean out there with Harrison, Spencer Howard, Ginkle, Nelson, Miller, and Holmes, Chafin, and Camilo Duvall. Um, can I move any of our players here? Like Tom Murphy, can I move him? I can't move Tom Murphy. I move Joey Bart. Should I move Joey Bart? Yes. Is there anybody here that I could get that's like good defensively? Just someone that we could maybe put in, uh, if need be. It could be a third base bid. Let's see. Any good defense? I mean, Nolan Arenado would be great. Ah, oh, but he's expensive. Devers not really a defensive player. Man, he's a Mayu. Mayu be okay. I think man might be solid. Try, try to get him from the Yankees. Uh, we throw in... Well, not Luciano. Will Wilson? No, they're not going to want to do that. Yeah, he's going to have, like, low... He has, like, low trade value. Nick Senzo, no. Jose Ramirez. I'm just trying to see if there's any, like, decent fielders. Mikhail Garcia wouldn't be too bad. Kel Garcia, he's actually pretty solid too. So we get, we could probably get him maybe. I just don't know what they would want. Or, or a center fielder. Kyle Isbell might work. Yeah, we'll just get him. Kyle is Kyle Isbell. We throw in like Carson Weisenhunt. They would do that or Wisenhunt. Anything lower? No? Alright, so we'll do that. And then let's get... What else do you got? First base with second base with third base with shortstop, left field. Any bad, like, center fielders? No. Relief pitchers, third baseman. I guess we'll take Yvonne Quintana. He's not very good. Uh, we'll just do that deal. Uh, just to get that just improves our defense a bit. So we have another guy. So yeah, that's about it for me um, I'm gonna simulate to the all-star break and I'll see you guys once I'm there I don't know why we're so obsessed with losing a lot of games in a row But that's just I guess the San Diego sim studio San Diego studio sim engine logic uh, We're not doing great uh, Five games above. I mean we're doing all right Bo obviously fractured ribs doesn't help uh, he was doing pretty well. And then Kyle Bell's hurt as well. He was doing pretty well too. Uh, so, yeah, I guess that doesn't help. Uh, Estrada not having a good year this year. Akil Badu's been really good this season. Schwarber, not too bad. Lonzo struggling. Danny Jansen, a bit cold as of late. Dremski, Lamont Wade. 
Luciano, not doing great. Matt Chapman's having a good year. The bench has been iffy. Yeah, we're just not hitting the ball that well. Bailey's been good, but... Pitch rotation, Yuri Perez having a great season. Logan Webb also doing really well, not getting a lot of run support, unfortunately. Montgomery's been really good. Hendricks. Uh, we got to get a fifth starter here. Um, I don't know. I guess, Ra I guess Reese Olsen's just not going to be around. So I want to get like a legit starting pitcher that'll actually stay in the majors. Uh, Harrison's been all right. Uh, the middle of the bullpen's been really good. Back end, iffy this season. Camille DeVall. A little high on that ERA, man. Almost at five. Not really going to cut it. Clay Holmes has been decent, but... All right. Uh, let's try to get another pitcher. I think that's really what we need to do for now. Uh, actually, we can start hitting the damn ball. And we got to get Bo back. Um, so he'll be gone for a little longer. But yeah, let's try to improve our pitching. Do we have a wild card spot? I think we do. Um, if we don't make it this year, then uh, next season we got to make it. So I do think we might be able to make a wild card. But we need to get everybody healthy. And let's try to get another pitcher. That'll help us out, I think, tremendously. Let's see who's out there in the market. I'm right, gonna just do with the Red Sox. We get rid of uh, Lopez, Toribio, and Olsen for Bello and Fraley, uh, which I think should help us out a little bit. Um, get Bell; he's gonna be a solid pitcher. Um, I'm also then gonna move Sean. I'm gonna see what he, we can get for him. I'll just see what we've got here. Just propose trades and see who's out there. Um, anybody that we can maybe get that would be decent for us. Just kind of looking, looking. If I see anybody that I like, um, I mean, it could also just be for, you know, organizational depth. I mean, Mac Muncy from the Angels. Uh, like, this wouldn't be too bad from the Mariners. We get a relief pitcher, David Fry. Um, just looking. Hunter Brown and Foley. Isn't terrible. We get Jonathan India from the Nationals. Uh, I'm trying to think here. What do I like? I've seen a couple of deals that I'm like, maybe we go for those. I could just do this deal with the Rockies. Get Thompson. Maybe I'll do that. Let's just do that deal, I guess, with the Rockies. We'll get Sterling Thompson. Um, that works for me. Get ourselves another third baseman. Um, okay, that works. All right. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Let's see if we can kind of uh, keep our wild card spot. All right, 86 and 76 was good enough to make the postseason a wild card team to get on the Reds, uh, which is fine. Uh, we do have David Villa. Hurts, league leaders, Logan Webb, and War. He had a great season once again. I mean, shout out to Logan Webb. See the lineups. I mean, Estrada had a down year. Kilba doing a good year. Bo, nice season for him. Just obviously injured. Part of it. Pete Alonso. It could have been better. Same thing with uh, Jansen, Schwarber, Jake Fraley, our left fielder now, actually, which was kind of helpful considering uh, Schwarber, I'd rather just have him be a DH. Uh, Yastrzemski, a bit of a down year. Chapman had a really good year, though. I like that. Bailey off the bench was decent. Luciano ended up being solid. Um, okay. Also, shout out to Sterling Thompson being an all star. Um, cool. See the rotation. Logan Webb obviously had a great season. Yuri Prez was good. Drew Montgomery was good. Bell was good. Murphy, no. We got Harrison, Hendricks. Out there in the long relief position. Middle of the bullpen looks solid. Just a Beck didn't pitch much this year. He only pitched one game, actually. Clay Holmes didn't do great. Nelson. Middle of all, better second half of the season. But, you know, will it be good enough against the Reds? Reds, by the way, in case you guys were curious, won 90 games. So, how we fare against them here. So, Nick Lodolo versus Logan Webb, game one. We win 6-2. to two. Shout out to Logan Webb, man. He is, he's a monster. Game two, Yuri Perez versus Taj Bradley. We traded for you, Yuri, for this moment. And you get a one nothing shutout win. Uh, looks like Kyle Harrison actually pit, got the win. Oh, that's because our offense wanted to be garbage. <laughs> and it was garbage. So, hey, you know what? We pitched well. Need our offense to step it up, though. Um, I mean, uh, Badu has been doing all right. Bo didn't have a great game this game. 
the Alonzo. All right, well, against the Dodgers, we're going to have to hit a little bit better than what we were hitting in the hitting there. So Montgomery versus Shohei, game one. We're going to lose that one 5-2. to two. Not ideal. Game two, Bella versus Miller. We win 12-10. to 10. Okay, offense stepped it up. Didn't pitch great. But if we score enough runs, we win. And we also, shout out to us scoring three runs in the ninth to actually end up coming back and winning. So good job to the boys. We didn't pitch great this game, so uh, Duvall, though, did good. Did his job. All right, Logan Webb versus Tyler Glasnow. Shout out to Logan Webb, man. What a guy. What a guy. He's a guy. Of course, fortunately, he didn't get the win. He only pitched four innings for some reason. Um, Kyle Harrison did his job. All right, game five, Yuri per uh, game four, Yuri Perez versus Yoshinobu Yamamoto. And we win two to one. Let's go. We're in the uh, – and shout out to Yuri Perez. Great game. Tear on the Diamondbacks in the NLCS here. We got Logan Webb on the bump versus Rodriguez. Game one, we lose nine to seven. Okay, that's tough. That's tough. Logan Webb got lit up. Okay, game two, Yuri Perez versus Dylan Cease. We win that one seven one. Let's go, Yuri. All right, Jordan Montgomery, game three versus Brandon. We lose that one 11 to five. Okay, Bill versus Suarez. We lose six to seven. Shout out to the Sim Engine. Uh, on that one and game five got to win this one here logan webb I'd like you to redeem yourself here so we're gonna see if he can we'll go quick manage on this one might as well just this one game see how we do we're at home so logan webb hopefully have a better outing this game we'll see how he can do here against arizona nice little one two three cheeky inning there and we're gonna go up one zero okay it's still one zero it's one zero Okay, looking good. Logan Webb, good job. Kyle Schwarber, nope, nothing. All right, yeah, they're not doing much. All right, yes, 4-0, that's good. All right, not bad. Bottom six, top seven now. Logan Webb, good job. All right, we got Thompson in the game, and we're up 4-0, Logan Webb. Okay, I think I might take him out of the game now, but he, he did his job. A great performance here. Did we keep him out? Yeah, let's 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 do a little pitching change. Let's put in uh, let's put in Clay Holmes. I I I, tr I trust him to get out of this. Single, strikeout, strikeout. And there we go. He got out of it. We win four zero. So Logan Webb had a good performance. I'll take it. All right, game six. Yuri Perez versus Eduardo Rodriguez. Might as well quick sim this. We might as well quick manage this one too. The Jordan Montgomery game, I think I'll just fast sim it. Screw it, right? All right, we'll play game here. Quick manage. We are on the road here. Perez has been doing really well this postseason. Let's see if we can keep it up. Let's see if our bats can uh, wake up here. Pete Alonso, I need you to start hitting the ball a little bit better. Carlos Bell, Schwarber's been on fires of late. So hopefully we can pick it up. Sterling Thompson. Yastrzemski should be playing. I don't know why he's not. Um, so I might put him in. I guess because Eduardo Rodriguez is playing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put in Yastrzemski. And uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go into quick manage. So all right, let me go into quick manage. I think I effed up. So you know what? We're just gonna simulate an exit. Uh, we got a leadoff hit. Uh, so I messed up. Cool. Great. I don't seem to be able to get up into, uh, into uh, quick manage. So we'll just simulate exit and see what happens. Uh, oh, there we go. Jump to... Okay, stop. Stop. Jump to quick manage. All right. There we go. All right. Thank you. All right. So we're doing... All right. We're doing our thing here. We're in quick manage. I, I effed up. So we're just going to see how well we could do here. Top the three. Top bottom three now. Yuri Perez pitching well so far. Keep it up. Bottom five, looking good. All right. Kyle Harrison in the game now. And we're down 2-0. I don't know why we'd bring in Kyle Harrison so early. All right, well, I want to pitching change him. Let's put in, let's put in Nelson. Okay. All right, we got to do something here. Chad Green, what do you got? Patrick Bailey at the dish. Pitch change. Elzele, fly out. Sterling Thompson, fly out. 
Estrada, ground out, we lose 2-0. Uh, shout out to the game there. I don't know why we thought it would be a good idea to put in. I don't know why we... I don't know why we took out Yuri Perez. Made no sense. Um, yeah, doesn't make any sense, but that, that was not my decision. If it was, I would have kept him in. So, I mean, hey, we made the, we made the uh, NLCS for nice. Uh, I would like us to, to hit the ball more. We didn't really do that, unfortunately. So, that was another thing. Let's see, injury list. Ah, uh, shoulder tightness. That's why. Really? Okay. Well, in the postseason, Alonso didn't do much. Jansen, Schwarber, Fraley was brutal. Shout out to make sure Yudstremski was good. Yeah, we just didn't hit the ball. I, I, I just don't know. Our offense was pretty bad. Kyle Harrison struggled a bit. Montgomery struggled. Logan Webb was good for the most part. Bello, uh, Perez was amazing. Hendricks sucked. Ingle was all right. All right, yeah, I mean, yeah, Nelson and Duvall did their job. It was a hit and miss. I'd say our offense is kind of bad, but then there were some bad pitching too, performances. Guardians beat the Diamondbacks in the World Series. All right, we got two more seasons. Let's try to, try to improve this team. All right, so time to offer some guys some contracts. I have some players in mind that I want to go after. Uh, one of them being Jazz. Um, I feel like we can get him on a nice... I feel like we should get him. I feel like we should try to get Jazz. I feel like he'd be a huge pickup for our team. Really good center fielder. A little bit of speed. Field. Hit. So we're going to throw him a deal. Um, I also feel like I wanted to try to get Freddy Peralta. Just another uh, uh, piece of the puzzle for the rotation. I feel like that would be a nice uh, pickup for us. So we'll throw him a deal. Uh, 106.7. We'll give him a player option too. Uh, anybody else that I want to throw out there? Nick Castellanos will be okay. Maybe I'll throw him a deal. I don't know about Sol bringing back Soler. Uh, Kepler wouldn't be too bad. I'm going to throw Castellanos. Uh, you know, he'd be kind of cheap. Just another guy that can maybe hit a little bit. Um, other than that, uh, Cody Bellinger is also here too. He's pretty damn good. Uh, Verdugo is always kind of a cheat code. Um... Actually, would I rather have him over Jake Fraley? Maybe. Rosarina is out there. Dalton Varsho. I'll throw Verdugo a contract. Um, I'll throw him a contract. I might withdraw the offer on Fraley. Do I withdraw the offer on Fraley? No, I'll keep the offer just in case. We can always look to move him if need be. Um... And yeah, we're just going to try to get back some of our guys. I think that's uh, kind of what comes down to. I mean, Nico Herner wouldn't be too bad for a second baseman. Um, I did, I'm going to see if we can get back Estrada. But I'm trying to see if there's anybody else here that I want. Yeah, and no, I think we're good. Let's just see if we can get who we get, and uh, we'll go on from there. All right, so you get Jazz. Nice pickup for us. Uh, and Freddie Peralta, too. Love those pickups. All right, so... We got Jazz, Freddy, Verdugo. Uh, we did also have Fraley, Castellanos. I do need to get a second baseman now because I'm going to get Estrada. So I might look then to move. And I did resign. Uh, I did not resign Chapman either. So I don't know. I might need to look to make a trade here to free up some of our uh, some of our guys. So I'm going to see if there's maybe a move we could do. Potentially free up some roster spots here. Uh Let's see what kind of uh, second baseman can we get here? We have Bogarts? No, we can't. Vargas. I'm gonna see if there's any second baseman get. Him. Rosario, I can't get him because he just signed. Obviously, Nico Herner just signed. Matt McLean can't get him. Brendan Donovan, nope. Neil, no. Gavin Lux, no. Simeon. Trying to see if there's any second baseman we can get. Probably nothing with this deal. It'd probably just have to be like a... Like a prospect or something. Yeah, I don't think I can get anybody with this kind of deal. But I do want to free up some roster spots, so... Um, let's try to get a third baseman. 
a first baseman. Uh, okay, just do this. First baseman, third baseman for the organization. We'll do that for the Yankees. That's fine. Just move those guys for some roster spots. And then let's see if we can get ourselves Chapman, and I'll probably move Fraley. I'll do this deal with the Tigers. We'll get Colt Keith for Schwarber, Yatremski, and Gerard Breachin, or Breachin. Uh So we do get ourselves uh, a pretty solid second base replacement uh, with Colt Keith. Um, and I think that's it for moves that for me. I'll see you guys at the start of the fourth season. So here we are, fourth season. And I feel like our team is solid. I mean, we've got Fraley, Verdugo, uh, Bo with Alonzo, Jazz, Castellanos picked up, Danny Jansen, Nicole Keith, and Matt Chapman. And we got Bailey, Kilbadu, Luciano, and Schmidt. Not terrible. Uh, you know, it's, it seems like it's pretty decent. I feel like our rotation is going to be pretty solid. We had Perez and Peralta with Montgomery and Bella. We'll see how that works out. Murphy Harrison, the bullpen with Ginkle, Beck, and Miller. Then we got Camila Duvall, Kyle Nelson, and Clay Holmes going to be our closer instead of Camila Duvall. I think we're just going to switch that. All right, let's see how this team does. Fourth season. I mean, we made the playoffs last year. We got to the NLCS. Can we do it this year? Um, what is this? Oh, soon the regular season. Yeah, wait. Are we one and one? Was that series like in uh, where was that? Was that like one of like those international series? I wonder if they actually play them international. I don't know. Probably not. Let's see. Can you view? Can you view where it was played? No. Anyways, all right. Let's just simulate. I'll see you guys at the uh, All Star break. All right, 55 and 42. Uh, it's tight. It's a tight race in the West. Um, and we got some injuries here. Perez, dislocated shoulder. Uh, not a great season, but maybe when he comes back from being injured, he'll be fine. Got some guys in the trade block here. Luis Robert Jr., Johan Rojas. A lot of Philly players. Okay. Let's see the lineups. How are we doing? Fairly decent. Verdugo's having a really good season. Bo is having a great year. Pete Alonso's just not been very good for us um, at all. Jazz, solid season from him. Jansen's been okay as a for, you know, for a catcher. Castellanos has been really good as of late. Cole Keith, solid. And we got Sterling Thompson playing third. Uh, because Chapman is doesn't play against righties. And honestly, that's fine. I mean, he's having a good year, though. So, we'll take it. He's been pretty good. Plus, he's getting up there in age. He's, well, actually, I think 33. That's not too bad. Gilbadu is solid as well. Patrick Bailey has been good. Luciano hasn't played at all this season. That's kind of funny. Rotation, Webb. Solid year. Peralta, cold as of late, but he's having a solid year. Okay. Uh, how's the bullpen? Overall, middle is good. Camilo Duvall has been terrible this year. He's only played 12 games. so He's got five blown saves. Pretty bad. Clay Holmes, decent. All right. So, do we make a move? Is there a move we can make? I mean, Luciano's been solid. Does he have any? He doesn't have, like, too much value. I feel like. Not, not necessarily. All right. Let's just uh, let's just keep it going. I like I like our chances. Uh, even if we don't have a uh, chance to win the division, we do have a wild card spot, pretty much guaranteed. Look at that. So it's it's a tight race, very tight race. So let's hope for a good second half of the season. I mean, there's a trade that pops up now before the deadline, and I like it. I'll do it, but I'm cool with rocking out the squad as is. 270. Made the postseason the wildcard team, taking on the Diamondbacks. We lost to last season. And this time we gotta take them on as a wildcard team. Uh, we were fifth, they were fourth. I mean, couldn't win the division. Dodgers 100 games, we won 92. Diamondbacks won 93. Dodgers obviously, nice second half of the season from them. Guardians with 101 victories. Got some injuries here. Colt Keith, inflamed hip. 
So he'll probably miss some time. Solid season though from him. He'll be due. He's out for the year now. Sucks to see. So who's playing second? Luciano. He's only five bats this year. Okay. Do ribbies though. Uh, fairly decent year. Verdu got a great year. Bo had a great year. He was healthy. He played all 162 games. No, he did not. But he played 159. I need Pete Alonso to step up a little bit. A little, a little, for, a little more for average. Maybe like 260 would be nice. Jazz had a nice year. Danny Jansen, solid. Thompson, good year. He's playing third. Isbell didn't play much, but when he did, he was productive. Bailey was good. Chapman obviously had a good year. All right, we'll see how this team does. How's the rotation looking? Perez, good year, especially good second half of the season. Logan Webb was good. Peralta, good. Back end, a little bit worried about, but we'll see. Kyle Harrison, solid. We called up Kyle Hendricks. He's kind of down. I'm probably going to trade him in the offseason just to get off his contract. Maybe not. We'll see. Uh, just because the regression is crazy in this game. Yeah, De uh, Duvall, just not a good year from him. Clay Holmes, solid. 39 saves. And take it. So the Diamondbacks. We got Perez versus Cease. Game one. Let's see if Yuri Perez had a great postseason last year. I mean, you know, we lost in 12 innings. And Perez was okay. Not too bad. Kyle Harrison did his job. Beck, unfortunately, lost us the game. But I'm going to blame it on the fact that we can't hit. So... Why do we only have five hits? It's not going to cut it. Logan Webb versus Brandon fought game number two. We got to win this one to stay alive, and we don't. And once again, where is our offense? And why is Tristan Beck pitching again? <laughs> and we lose it. We lose again <coughs> in the in the freaking thing in the eleventh inning. But again, I'm not even going to be mad at Tristan Beck because he shouldn't even be pitching. Logan Webb had a good game. Nelson did his job. Ginkle did his job, and I mean, yeah, Beck got the loss, but again, we had seven hits in 11 innings. Which is not going to work. Not going to work. Bo didn't have a hit. Just, just disgusting. Palace was streamed by Seb. Obviously missed Colt Keith a little bit. Akil Badu. I mean, granted the injuries, but, I mean, we just, why are we not hitting? I don't know. P. Lons was okay. Luciano. But, yeah, Thompson never hit. Sable didn't have a hit. These guys hit a buck 25. <sighs> Frustrating. So, that's definitely on our hitting, not our pitching. So, the boys did well. Pitching-wise, uh, I mean, Tristan Beck obviously struggled, but I mean, he shouldn't even have to have struggled. So, yeah, didn't hit the ball, clearly. So we got one more season. Red Sox win the World Series, beat the Braves, fit the final season coming up. Will we be able to warm up our bats in the postseason? Only time will tell. Let's head on to the offseason. All right, so free agency's here. Um, I'm gonna offer some guys some contracts here. Got a lot of guys that I might I'm looking at here that would be nice. Do I want to bolster up the rotation even more? The answer is yes, and I'm gonna go for. So I'm gonna go for Shane McClanahan, and I'm. I also kind of want to. I'm thinking about getting Adley Rutschman. Cause why not? Why not if I can get him? So let's see what we can get. I'll throw guys. I'll throw some contracts out there and uh, see who wants to sign with San Francisco. The athletics, we're gonna get Corbin Burns for Bishop Montgomery and Bello. Uh, so we get ourselves Corbin Burns. I feel like he's gonna help us out. And I struck out a little bit in free agency, but I did offer Nick Lodolo a contract. Let's see if he accepts that, and then we'll uh head on to the next season. So we do get Nick Lodolo, we're gonna add him to the rotation, round it out. I like it. Uh, let's see what happens in our uh. And Kyle Nelson's going to the uh, Rangers, I guess. All right, cool. Um, is there anybody else that I might want to try to pick up for the team? The answer is yes. For the bullpen, Duran. Can we get him? I'm going to throw him a deal. If he wants to join, I would be appreciative of that. 
Uh, he actually would love, it looks like he would love to join. He's very keen on joining the San Francisco Giants. So we'll throw him a contract. Can we get him? The answer is, well, remains to be unanswered. Well, now it is. All right, seventh and fifth and final season. All right, fifth and final season. And I mean, I like our squad. I did also sign uh, Eugenio Suarez, uh, just another guy that could be a platoon for our Ben, uh, for our team. I mean, he'll be here, but um, yeah, I mean, we'll see how this team does. I mean, obviously Chapman, 34 now, he is up to down to 77, but I feel like our team should be fine. Uh, the lineup on paper looks pretty solid, uh, but it, will it be enough? I guess we'll find out. The bench looks decent. The rotation, I mean, looks pretty filthy. Perez, Webb, Lodolo, Peralta, and Burns. That's that's a pretty damn good five. Harrison with Beck, Ginkle, Wolf. We got Duvall, Holmes, and Dur <laughs> as our back end. I mean, that should be good. I mean, hopefully, Camilo Duvall has a better second half, well, better fifth and final season. I guess we'll find out. I will see you guys at the end of the, uh, let me see this game. Curious to see this. So if I view today's games, if I play a game, it's probably just like the same. It's probably just the same. Yeah. The field. Okay. Let's just simulate. I'll see you guys at the all-star break. So we're 56 and 43. I mean, it's fine, but it's like, I would want to be doing better. It's a wild card. It's a wild card. I mean, that's not, it's not fantastic. Injury list. Nobody's hurt right now, so we're just, you know, not really performing like I'd want to be doing. I mean, Jazz been cold as of late. Duke's having a really good year. Bo's been good. Pete Alonzo. I might honestly move Pete Alonzo. Yeah, Cole Keith's been solid. Jansen's been good. Kiel badu has been nice. Matt Chapman's having a great season. Bailey's been good off the bench. Same with Luciano. He's played much, though. Isabel, uh, Suarez... Okay. Yeah, all right. I'm going to try to see. I'm going to see what's out there then. Who's on the block? But first, let's see the rotation. I mean, Perez not having a good season. Lodolo has been absolutely amazing. Webb, down year. Peralta, not great. Burns, okay. So, I yeah, I'm a little. Kyle Harris been good. Beck, I'm middle of the bullpen. You know, fine. Duvall, another down season. We get you and you... 4.5 OERA, no. Hi, yay, yay. All right. View the trade block. Anybody good on the trade block? A lot of catchers. A lot of catchers. I need a first baseman. Because, I don't know, I'm just Pete Alonzo. I'm not feeling him. So, we move Alonzo. We throw him there. I'll throw in Hmm. What's Casey Schmidt doing? Throw Casey Schmidt so I'll have more value. And then I won't throw a right fielder in there. I'll throw probably just throw another third baseman. That's fine. Any good first bit out there? Let me look. Alright, I'm doing a deal with the Brewers. Alonzo, Schmidt, and Stacy. Now I know I'm getting Joey Gallo. The reason I'm getting Joey Gallo. He's having a good season. He's hitting 290. Maybe that'll carry over to our team. Um, and then we also get Abner Uribe to bolster the bullpen. So I'm going to do that deal with the Brewers. I might regret that. I might regret that. But let's see what happens here. Rest it away. Hopefully Joey Gallo can continue to hit good for our team. Uh, we have a wild card at least. But probably not going to win the division. But if we could win like 93 games, I'd be happy. Not happy we won only 92 games uh well we, we're taking on the diamondbacks again we seem to love to take them on uh nobody's hurt right now which is good we don't have any league leaders Let's see the lineups i mean akil badu was solid Verdu got a great year Bo had a great year jazz was good cole keith good and he's healthy fairly not great blake sable not bad joey gall had a nice year 76 average Chapman was solid, cold as of late, but solid. Danny Jansen, Bailey, we got Luciano. I like it. How's the rotation? Perez, better second half of the season. It's not a great year, but 
Lodolo was good. End of the season cold, though. Logan Webb, Peralta. I mean, I feel like our pitching will be better in the postseason. At least from the starters. I'm not too worried about them. Bullpen, I don't know. I mean, Rebe has really been really good. The bullpen, a little... Some guys were all right. Uh, I don't know why Duvall and, and Johan Duran were bad, but... You know, what are you going to do? All right, we got a date with the Arizona Diamondbacks. Third time in the video. Can we beat them this time? Perez versus Dylan Cease. Game one, we win 2-1. to one. That's what we needed. And Yuri Perez was great in the postseason. Didn't hit enough. We didn't really hit a lot, but it was enough to win. So, at least able shot to him. Actually, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Game two, Nick Lidolo versus Eric Lauer. We lose 3-1. to one. Again, we just... Five hits isn't going to cut it, guys. Okay. Logan Webb versus Blake Walston. Can we advance the NLDS? No. And once again, our hitting lets me down. Why is our offense so bad in the postseason? Oh, Lord of mercy. What are we doing, Bo? What are we doing? J Jazz, not a hit? That's, that's ridiculous. Again, offense is terrible. I, I said I'm not worried about starting pitching in the postseason. I wasn't worried. The bullpen. And we really love really love putting Tristan Beck in, huh? Uh, Ginkle wasn't great. I, but again, I'm not blaming my pitching. I'm blaming my hitting. My offense was terrible. Let me down. I mean, Blake Sable had a good game. You know, he was two for. He played one game. Joey Gallo, Chapman, three hundred. I mean, it's fine. Well, that's that's a that's a sucky way to end. I mean, hey, we made the postseason, got to the NLCS in our sec, uh, third season. Then just, you know, we couldn't hit. Came down to not being able to hit. So, Dodgers beat the Yankees in the World Series. Shout out to them. I mean. It's an unfortunate way to go out, but let's see. You got retirements. Let's view them. Nobody. All right, cool. Let's, um, I guess, go to the full screen and close the video. Guys, well, hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, comment down below some videos. Go to socials, play the second channel, main channel, down below the description. If you like the content from DJP. Yep, my offense was not helpful today. What are you going to do? Happens. It happens. I mean, we built a solid team, I thought. You know, we got back to the postseason, so that's always good. Uh, it took us a couple se you know, a couple seasons to get there, but yeah, that's all I got. Uh, next video will be AL team, so I'm not sure what team that will be. You'll have to just wait and find out. But uh, with that being said, I'm gonna head on out for now. Take care. We'll see you soon. Peace.